Hi friends, welcome to POFO WordPress theme. In this video we will show how to use WordPress customizer panel to change POFO theme settings, styles, layout, typography, colors and many more features. So first of all log into WordPress admin backhand and navigate to appearance and click on customize from left navigation menu. This is the theme customizer panel. In left side of page, you can see lots of theme options with customizer panel. In right side of page you can see real time preview of your website selected page. When you change any settings from customizer panel then you can see real time preview in right panel. So you can see there are different sections here in left panel, here you can see side identity, header image, header image, background image, menus, widgets, home page settings. These are default settings of WordPress customizer panel. All others like general theme options, mini header, header, layout and content, title wrapper, footer, social share, typography and color are custom build section provided by POFO theme to increase customizable possibilities. So let me show you quick overview of all those options to make you aware about different customization possibilities. Site Identity Here you can enter your site title and tagline which will be visible as page title on the browser's address bar. Header Image Here you can upload your image, which will visible as background image and header background. Background Image This background image will be visible as page background image in your site page. Menus, here you can see all menus, which are generated from appearance menu section. Widgets, here you can see all widgets, which are created from appearance widgets section. Home page settings, here you can set up your home page and select page that you want to display as home page. Posts page. Using this option you can set blog home page. General theme options, here you can see different panels. Custom sidebars, here you can add unlimited custom sidebars as per your need and you can add custom widgets in those sidebars and appearance widgets and you can use this sidebars in different theme settings or page content as per your need. You can set under construction mode using this option and you can select your desired under construction page here. You can enable page smooth scroll using this option. 404 page, you can manage 404 page image, content and style settings using this option. Scroll to top, this is an button icon which will visible on page when you scroll down, you can see scroll to top button in right bottom part of page here. You can switch on off this button and manage its color styles. Image metadata, this is specifically for images. You can on off image out, title, title in lightbox pop-up and caption in lightbox pop-up. Portfolio URL slug, both will have custom post type built portfolio management. By default all the portfolio will have default URL slug as portfolio. In case if you want to change that URL slug to some other word like projects, work, our works then you can enter your URL slug here for portfolio page, category pages and for tags page. After this you need to save permalinks to have all existing portfolio links with new URL slug. Search block settings, you can enter placeholder text here which we'll use here. Now let me go to another option mini header. Mini header will display at top of the page means above main header. Let me switch on mini header. You can see mini header and top of page here. You can manage two different parts with left sidebar and right sidebar. You can assign those sidebars using left and right sidebar using this option and can manage different color options also. Let me go to header option now. Logo and Fivicon. Using this option you can switch on off logo, upload standard logo image, scroll version logo image, you can see this logo when you scroll page. Same way you can upload standard and scroll version logo for retina devices. You can upload Fivicon icon here, which will be visible on browser's address. 
header style and data. This is the panel where you can manage header style. Bofo contains four header styles. This is standard style. This is hamburger style, you can see it here. You will have different settings as per header style selected. Here you can set header menu, sticky type like you want to visibly your sticky header on up scroll or down scroll or non sticky. Center menu, using this option you can set menu at center position. Logo position, you can set logo at left, top or center position. Let me check for top logo position, you can see it here. If you want to set logo position with center position then you need to assign two menus, one for left side of the logo and second for right side of the logo. You can switch on off search and sidebar, sidebar contains social media options. You can assign sidebar here. Slide menu, you can switch on slide menu. It will be visible here. You can see slide menu content here and this content of slide menu is coming via slide menu sidebar and which is assigned here. Mini cart, you can switch on off mini cart features. So this is mini cart icon and you can see mini cart here. Header color, you can manage header color options like background color, menu text, menu text hover, sticky header background, sticky header menu text etc. Submenu color, you can manage colors of submenu. Mobile menu color, using this option you can manage mobile specific menu colors. Layout and content, this is the main section where you can manage layout, styles and content of your different pages, post details page, post archive pages, blog home page, sticky post style. Portfolio Details page, Portfolio Achieve page, Product page, Category or Shop Landing page etc. Let me click on page now. Here you can manage layout style of page like 1 column, 2 column left sidebar, 2 column right sidebar and 3 columns. You can also set container style here. Post single, all settings using this panel will affect to post details page. You can manage layout and container, post styles and data like select your desired post style. You can also manage related posts and settings and fonts and colors here. Basically this are general settings for your post details pages so whenever you create a new post then all this settings will be applied to post. You can also set most of such settings at post level also at edit post data under POFA post settings tab. Post archive. In this section you can lay out in container style, post list styles and data, you can select your desired post list style from available list here. You can manage animation, pagination, pagination style, and there are many other switch on off features. You can also manage different title typography and colors, post meta and button colors. Same way you can manage settings of default posts or blog home page here. Sticky post. If you have marked any post as sticky post then you can manage sticky post style and data here. Portfolio single, this settings will be applied to portfolio details pages. You can manage layout and container style, post styles and data, related portfolio grid management, navigation style etc. Portfolio Archive, here you can apply settings for Portfolio Archive pages like Portfolio Category page, Portfolio Tag page and Portfolio Landing page. You can manage layout and container style, Portfolio List style and data, Bofo provide 11 different Portfolio List styles, you can select your desired style here. You will have different settings as per list style selected like column type, spacing between columns, Metro portfolio on off, pagination style then switch on off different settings. Typography and colors settings and style for different elements. Product single, all settings from here will be applicable to your product details page. You can manage product style and data, sale label typography, title typography, rating star color, price typography, 
short description typography, stock message typography, add to button typography, product meta typography for SKU, category, product tab title typography. Related product style and typography can be managed here. Upsell product style and typography can be managed here. Cross sell product style and typography can be managed here. Product archive or shop. In this section, you can manage layout and container style, product list styles and data, sale typography and colors, and other typography and colors settings for title, rating star, price, and add to cart button. Now let me go to Title Wrapper. Using this you can manage title area of your post or page. You can switch on off title, you can select your desired page title style from available different title styles like left align title, right align title, center align title, page title with dark style, title with background image, title with background video, title with background image slider and title with parallax background. You can manage title font and color over here. And this all same settings will be applicable for page, post single, post archive, default posts or blog home page, portfolio single, portfolio archive, product single, product archive and shop pages. Footer can be managed here. There are three different part here. This is the footer wrapper area. You can select your desired footer wrapper style and its content data. You can also manage social media icons. Font and color settings. Main footer area. This is main footer area. You can select your desired footer style and assign sidebars for different columns of footer. You can manage color settings of footer here. Footer bottom. This is footer bottom section and it is third part of footer which is showing at last of page. You can select your desired footer style and set different content and font or color settings here. Social share, you can switch on of social share icons on post single means post details page, portfolio details pages and on product detail pages. Here you can switch on of your desired social media icons and drag and drop to set display order. There are same settings for portfolio single and product single. Typography and color, here you can manage general typography and color. Font family. Bofo contains two different font family. You can select your desired font from Google font list and same way you can select font family for additional font. Font size, you can manage body font size, body font line height, body font character spacing, and same settings for content also. Font color, you can manage body background color, body text color, link and link hover color. Comment, you can manage font and color for page or post comment area here. Heading, H1 logo, whenever you set any page as front page means home page then by default your logo and home page will contain H1 tag. If you don't want H1 tag in your home page logo then you can switch off here. You can also manage different heading like H1, H2, H3 font and colors also. Base color. Bofo base color is ping 1, you can change this base color as per your need and branding over here. Additional CSS, if you want to add your custom CSS code to customize theme then you can enter that custom CSS code here. I hope this video has been helpful, any more question about same or theme you can contact via our support. Thank you for watching.